If you're going to scam the richest man in the world, think twice because he would not let you off the hook so easily. The genius billionaire Elon Musk has just sued Twitter and has made some serious allegations against the microblogging platform. Why is Elon Musk suing a social media platform he once bought? And who is supporting Musk in the lawsuit? Join us today in this video as we explore why Elon Musk has just sued Twitter. In his current complaint, Musk makes several charges against Twitter. Even before he announced his offer for a 100% investment in Twitter, the tech titan was a vocal critic of the firm. In reality, he was taking the corporation private in order to properly restructure it. According to Musk, if Twitter is public, the necessary adjustments cannot be implemented. Unfortunately, because he cancelled the Twitter transaction, the Tesla CEO will no longer be able to take the social media platform private. However, his battle with Twitter does not end here. The multi-billionaire has launched a lawsuit against the social media site, but why has he done so? The Twitter takeover has swiftly devolved into a legal battle. Before we get into Elon's lawsuit against Twitter, let's take a look at some of the other lawsuits the Tesla CEO has faced in the past. The SEC complaint accusing Elon Musk of fraud for making certain deceptive statements in a tweet that states, Am considering taking Tesla private at $420, funding secured, is at the top of the list. Those few words were enough to land Elon Musk in the most significant legal struggle of his life. According to the US Securities and Exchange Commission, Musk did not have the funds to take Tesla private, as promised in the tweet. Musk lost the lawsuit and was forced to endure the terrible repercussions. To begin with, he was required to resign as Tesla's chairman, and he was not to serve in that company for three years after the situation was resolved. Both Musk and his Tesla company were forced to pay $20 million to compensate any shareholders who were affected by the message. And Musk was to make a tweet regarding the company only after the company attorneys had reviewed it. There is little doubt that Elon has learned a lot from being sued, and he is utilizing that knowledge to sue Twitter. On Twitter, the legal dispute is divided into two parts. On the one hand, a shareholder is suing Musk, and on the other side, Musk is suing the firm. The shareholder who is suing Musk accuses him of failing to disclose his intentions to purchase Twitter in a timely manner. As predicted, the regulation compels anybody seeking to purchase more than a 5% shareholding in a firm to notify the shareholders 10 days before the transaction. So, in Elon's case, he should have informed Twitter shareholders of his plan to purchase a stake in the firm by March 25th, as he did on April 4th. The shareholders allege that they missed the advantages they would have gained between the time that Musk declared an interest in purchasing a stake in the firm, to the time Musk actually purchased shares in the company. He also claims that Musk may have gained more than $126 million during the 10-day wait. Elon's original investment of $2.9 billion climbed to $3.6 billion in a couple of days when Musk purchased Twitter shares at a 27% gain. The tech mogul has so much power that a single tweet from him can cause cryptocurrency values to change. Now let's get back to why Elon Musk is actually suing Twitter. To begin with, Musk is suing Twitter for dishonesty. The Tesla owner believes the Twitter board deceived him when he purchased the firm. Elon planned to pay $44 billion for Twitter according to paperwork filed with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, under the condition that the number of spam accounts on the social media network were less than 5%. However, the Tesla owner has learned that the number of bogus accounts may be more than 5%. This has forced him early on to cancel the Twitter deal before suing the social media platform as seen in a tweet that reads, Twitter deal temporarily on hold pending details supporting calculation of spam and fake accounts do indeed represent less than 5% of users. You can rest assured that Twitter will be heavily fined if the SEC establishes that the number of fake accounts is more than 5%. The issue with Twitter is not limited to the numerous bogus accounts on the platform, but also to the biased algorithms that it employs. Elon Musk's attorneys have also accused Twitter of using biased algorithms. They allege that the algorithms favor the left-wing content on the site at the expense of the right-wing content. Perhaps this explains why most leftists are big admirers of the social media networking site. In fact, President Obama, a strong Democrat, has the most followers on the site, while Trump, a Republican, has been barred from using it. The Tesla CEO has ordered that the Twitter algorithms be given open source so that IT professionals may determine their level of bias. 
If Twitter's algorithms are shown to be prejudiced, the company risks being banned entirely. As a worldwide social media network, it must provide fair treatment to all of its users. As previously stated, it is commonly assumed that the algorithms favor Democratic Party candidates in the United States. If the charges of political favoritism are shown to be accurate, Twitter will meet the same fate as Facebook, which was accused of intervening in the 2016 US election. It is alleged that Zuckerberg's Facebook colluded with Cambridge Analytica, a British political consulting firm, in stealing the American presidential elections. After some court battles, Facebook agreed to pay $643,000 to the UK's Information Commissioner's Office for its role in Cambridge Analytica's scandal. There is no doubt that the SEC will equally fight Twitter for using biased algorithms on their site. The Twitter board and management will be held responsible not only for the biased algorithms but also for failing their fiduciary role. The Tesla CEO will be suing the Twitter board for failing in their fiduciary role in the Twitter case. The board is expected to act in the best interest of the shareholders. Musk's team of lawyers has demonstrated that most of the decisions that are made by the Twitter board are not in the best interest of the shareholders, and therefore the board members need to be held accountable. Elon's legal team will also be suing the Twitter board for the illegal salaries they get from Twitter. The tech billionaire had earlier promised to stop these remunerations via a tweet that reads, Board salary will be $0 if my bid succeeds so that $3 million will be saved right there. The cancellation of the Twitter board salaries will not be something new for the multi-talented CEO. All board members and all of his other companies such as SpaceX, Tesla, Neuralink, and The Boring Company do not get salaries. By the way, Musk does not earn a salary as the CEO. Instead, he is paid in the form of shares and bonuses. In other words, the tech billionaire will only earn if his company is doing well. This motivates him to work extra hard and ensure that all his companies are making profits. But the case is rather different. In most of the tech companies such as the Twitter board members in this company will always protect their salaries, even if the firm is not doing well. This makes it easier for them to sleep on the job, just as they have done by allowing Twitter to fail in the role of promoting free speech and democracy. Musk will be suing Twitter, as it has turned out to be a petri dish of abuses and threats. The Tesla CEO has personally received death threats on the microblogging site. Musk can't understand how people are receiving death threats on a platform that promotes free speech. Following Musk's lawsuit on the fact that Twitter had failed to offer any proof of the validity of its users, Twitter CEO Parag Agrawal took to the site to defend his share of the arrangement. In response to Elon Musk's concerns about spam and bots on the network, he believes Musk's idea to quantify the problem by randomly picking 100 users is futile. Our real internal estimates for the last four quarters were always well below 5%, Agrawal said on Twitter. His reaction comes after Musk cancelled his $44 billion proposal to buy Twitter. Nonetheless, despite the human verification process that all accounts go through, Parag was serious when he said that his team may not be perfect at detecting all spam accounts. Some of the CEO's comments made it clear that the issue of spam accounts on Twitter is real. Although the CEO did a decent job explaining his platform, Musk was not impressed. Musk replied with a pile of poo emoji and asked, so, how do advertisers know what they're getting for their money? This is fundamental to the financial health of Twitter, Musk told a conference in Miami. You can't pay the same price for something that is much worse than they claimed. The more questions I ask, the more my concerns grow. One might say that Musk is creating a bigger issue out of this than it actually is, but the billionaire is justified in using his rights to sue Twitter. Anyways guys, if you want to see more interesting videos, click the video right above. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications enabled so that you don't miss out on the latest Elon Musk news.